All right, we are with Buckets Blake from the world famous Harlem Globetrotters. Buckets, I understand you're uh, going to be in town for one of the uh, games this coming weekend. It's MLK yes. Day on the 15th. Yes. Yep, it's uh, Monday. It's going to be at 1 and 6 p.m. at the Golden One Center. We cannot wait. We love coming to play here in Sacramento. Um, always warm welcomes from the fans here because they love basketball here in Sacramento, but most importantly, they love Harlem Globetrotter basketball. Of course they do. Now, and that was actually, I have to confess, as many events as I had been to at the new arena, that was actually last year my first basketball game at the arena. Wow. What do you think of that as a venue? Uh, you know what? It's out of this world. Um, I know for a fact that it's the largest indoor-outdoor arena in the world. Um, I don't know who uh, got the idea, who the architects were, but they did an amazing job. You know, this is one of the places... Uh, we look forward to coming back to. I know we broke it in a little bit last year, but this year is going to be even more amazing for us. That venue is it's, it's top of the line. It's, it's, it's top of its class. It has everything you can think of. It has like a, a green aspect to it. You know, um, I think they can actually open those windows. Oh, open yeah. And then like have like fresh air coming in, which is hard for those venues, you know, hard for some venues around the world to do to give everyone a bunch of fresh air, but I think it's amazing. The architecture, the layout, the court, the seats are soft, and that's very important. Very important for our fans to be comfortable while they're having a good time. Well, and the league had to create special rules for playing NBA games with the wind. If there's wind, there are rules yeah. for that, believe it or not. Wow. So there's a limit. Yeah, absolutely. That's now, you awesome. mentioned the kids, mm -hmm. and that was one of the things I wanted to ask you about. Talk to me a little bit about the Globetrotters' relationship with kids because one of the things I thought was the most fun was watching that interaction. Um, you know, not only do we interact with kids on the basketball court, bringing kids out, let them take a shot, we have something called Magic Pass where the kids actually get a chance to dribble, um, get the ball spent on their finger, get to take a shot on a professional basketball court, as well as try on a big uniform, size 20 shoes, and, and all that stuff, a big Globetrotter uniform, um, but also outside of the court, um, you know, we visit uh, close to 400 schools a year. We have an anti-bullying program called the ABCs of Bullying Prevention. That's Action, Bravery, and Compassion. That's what those three uh, letters stand for. Then we have our hospital visits, which is my favorite. It's called the Smile Patrol, and our whole goal is to get as many smiles out of the kids in the hospital as possible. Those are the kids who can't make it to the schools that we visit, the YMCA's, Boys and Girls Clubs, and Recreation Centers we visit, or make it to our games. So we make it a point to go see them. And also we have a character education program called Cheer. And last but not least, we have a program for kids called SPIN, which stands for Some Playtime is necessary and that's to encourage kids to stay physically active for at least 60 minutes a day to fight childhood obesity you know in this tech world where kids are uh, you know they're behind their, their their phones their tablets and video games and we want to keep them moving so they stay active and they stay healthy so it's just not just about the game of basketball for us it's about the game of life okay so now we talked about spinning the ball on, on kids fingers buckets gonna have a goof on me in a minute because I've never been able to do that but I wanted to also ask you, number one, how long have you been with the Globetrotters now? It's been a while. Yes, this is my 16th season. Um, I've been to 83 countries. I'm on my third passport. They just added 20 pages, so that means I'm going somewhere else, hopefully. Um, but it's amazing to have an opportunity to not only um, develop as a basketball player, but develop as a person and become uh, an international representative for, for the United States. You know, we are the ambassadors of goodwill. And we were coined by the U.S. State Department in the 60s, and we actually actually try and build a better uh, um, relationship amongst the U.S. and other countries by um, uh, using the basketball as a tool, you know, uh, kind of a sports diplomacy type of thing, and it's pretty awesome um, that I had a chance to experience that in 16 seasons. Now, did you ever imagine as a kid playing hoops and probably saw the Globetrotters growing up yourself that someday you would be a part of this amazing organization with names, and share the, the stage with names like Curly Neal, Meadowlark Lemon, and I could list off a whole slew of others. Yeah, well, you know what? For me as a kid, I always told myself that I was going to be a professional athlete. I was never sports specific. So I used to do everything I possibly could to be a professional athlete. By the time I got to high school, I had to narrow down all my sports to three. I played football, basketball, and I ran track and field. And I had a scholarship for all three sports. 
I chose basketball because it's indoors. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Football practice was hot. Track practice was worse with that little tank top on. And so basketball, you get air conditioning. And you know, maybe maybe the AC might go out one or two times, but you know, I love basketball and um, I'm living out my dream as a professional athlete playing for the world's greatest basketball team. Okay, so the premier member of the world's greatest basketball team is going to teach me a trick I've never been able to do. I got gotcha. you. Okay, how we do are this? You, you, show me how you do it first. Are you right-handed? I am right-handed. Okay, we'll switch sides in a second. So this is how I do it, and then, you know, I'll put a little spice on it, too. Now, for you, step on this side. Okay. So put one finger up this and keep your finger straight don't go forward don't go backwards okay, okay. keep it straight up like this okay and don't look at the ball now look away like you know what you're doing okay I'm gonna trust you that's pretty amazing I've never been there it goes <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good looking out, yeah, appreciate you. that thank you buckets Blake with the world famous Harlem Globetrotters thanks for coming in we no appreciate problem. that thanks for having me that was a good spin uh, well, it's going to be one of a kind, believe <laughs> yeah. me.